I'm Dr. Jonathan Chung, and today we're going to be talking about dysautonomia. The two most prevalent forms of dysautonomia are going to be conditions called postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome and orthostatic hypotension. Both conditions are similar because they tend to affect the cardiovascular system in ways that cause a patient to feel dizzy, lightheaded, and may be prone to fainting. The gold standard test is going to be something called a tilt table test, where a patient is strapped onto a table where they are measuring for blood pressure and pulse changes while the table is tilted at an angle. During that tilt table test, the patient may become quite symptomatic, they may even faint during the test, and they'll see rapid changes in their vital signs while they're going through this type of testing. With POTS, patients are going to see that their heart rate is actually going to spike about 30 beats per minute or more when they go from a resting position to a standing position, whereas orthostatic hypotension is going to see a rapid change in their blood pressure when they go from that same postural change. Not everyone has access to tilt table testing, so one way you could actually measure this at bedside is to do something called a 10-minute lean test, where a patient leans against the wall with their legs fully extended, and a doctor can actually measure their pulse and blood pressure changes over the course of 10 minutes, and patients may actually start to show signs and symptoms of the disease process when they're going through this posture. Another low-tech way to do this at bedside is actually have your blood pressure taken when you're going from a laying down to a standing position, which can also be done in a doctor's office.